do not receive instruction from anybody who is not a principal officer. If you do that going forward from today, then that means you have by yourself um, relinquished that position you're holding because you cannot belong to a, an organization, for example, IPOB is not that kind of an but you cannot belong to an organization and you cannot work with the with the um um with the rules and regulations that are guiding that organization. Where you each of us are working. There are rules and regulations that, that guide our working um, environment or our working uh, relationship with, with the companies that employed us. Once we go against it, the company will tell you, well, uh, we don't know whose interest you're, you're, you're protecting here, and uh, it may end up um, you know, uh, resulting in very serious consequences. Therefore, if you believe that you are part of this and that Oyendu is your leader, you must, you must, I am not this time. I am not begging you, but I'm saying that you must follow Oyendu's order, following which then you don't belong here. Why am I saying this again? Yes, many are called, but few will be chosen. Few will be chosen because we are millions, millions of their friends all over the world, and we are millions and millions of IPB members all over the world. But it is only those who have been um, purified in the, in the fire of purification, those who have been purified in the knowledge that came out from the mouth of the leader of this movement, it is those who have been tested. It is those who started from the beginning and who are still there, whose loyalty are still there. It is those who the street of Yafa has taken hold of. It is them that will be the few. It is them that will be among the hundred that our leader talked about that will stay faithful, loyal, and focused and committed pending when Onyendu comes out and takes over the mantle of leadership physically for everybody to see and then for us to continue on our march to freedom. Therefore, after tonight's broadcast, ask yourself this question, where does my loyalty lie? Like I said, I will make some announcements and I will also um, opportunity, warranting, if that is possible, depending on the host of this or the, 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 the person um, hosting this very program. If there is opportunity to take a few questions from the friends, I will do that. But now, let me go to the announcement that I have to make. The most important announcement that I have to make tonight is that the, we all are aware what 14th of September means in the struggle of our freedom. Every, every hardcore Biafran know what 14th of September symbolizes. And when I talk about 14th of September, I'm talking about 14th of September um, 2017. 14th of September 2017, we know what that symbolizes. That was a day. That was the day that the forces of darkness converged. They converged on Afaruku and they killed as if nothing matters anymore. They mowed down tens and tens of young and dedicated Biafran youths who willingly gave their life for their leader to remain alive today and that Oyendu is alive today. We owe to many of these young, brave heroes that have given their life. We know that 14th of September was a day that marked the beginning of the loss of the first parents of this very movement, the father and mother of our leader Oyendu Martin and Kano. We know that 14th of September is there for 14th of September um, 2017 and going forward um, is therefore a pivotal date in the history of our struggle for freedom. And therefore, therefore, the 14th of September 
2021, the Bishop of Biafra will declare a complete lockdown of Biafra land, 14th of September, 2021. It shall be a day that we will again show the world. We are calling for this because, like I told you, we are working in sync, in coordination with the Apple's leadership of this movement. And it is our intention and desire to inform the Afghan that there are deeds that has been made, um, that has been um, put in place for us to continue our civil disobedience and the face of the, the first the first of that date is 14th of September 2021. We already have announced, we did announce that the weekly Monday sit at home has been suspended by Oyendu. And when we say suspended, at the time we say suspended, we did not say it was cancelled. We say it was suspended. Because when you, when you suspend something, you will probably come back again to reinstate it. Now, that suspension and after due consultations and after due deliberations with the highest authority of the law, we agreed that apart from um, the court date, when Oyeni will come in place, and we will go to court, we will appear before the Zoological Republic Court, 14th of September will be a day what we used to call the saboteur's day. So, if you are if you are baby saboteur before and you are planning to become one now, uh, this 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 very day that is coming has something to do with yourself. Ask yourself, therefore, if you want really your name to be in in perfidy and in in infamy, than to do what your people um um what will set your people free eternally. And forever. So I will bring out um, um, information. First information will, be, will come uh, from this for 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 this sit at home on the fourteenth and on the fifteenth, fifteenth evening, fifteenth evening to sixteenth um, evening will be the day of atonement. The day of atonement that we always have been engaged in for a very long time. I don't know how many years exactly now, but at least for a minimum of three, three years or so, we have religiously, we have religiously done our atonement. And uh, after each atonement, heaven releases their blessings upon us and in very, very great, great uh, measure. Therefore, 14th of September will be our seat at home. There will be a total lockdown in Biafra land. The paperwork will be done. Our atonement is not a seat at, it's not a seat at home. My people will, so that nobody will misquote me here. Our atonement day is not a seat at home. Our atonement day it simply means that this is the day that we will engage in prayerful communication with heaven, atoning for our sins. Those who have committed, those who are thinking of committing another sin, you will seek the, the face of heaven, the face of Chukwabiyama, for him to forgive us. And also, we call on him to forgive our ancestors in any manner that they may have sinned against him, that Chukwabiyama may forgive them and let his love and blessing return unto us, his children, and let the restoration of Biafra come sooner than later. This very, very announcement is the most important announcement that I'm going to make. Now, the second announcement, and this second announcement, I have already, I have already passed this information to the appropriate persons involved. But I want to state it here. I want to state it here that the Biafran people will also understand because I know some people will say it's true. There is, it's not every information that we receive that we have to make public. But there is 
Um, a, a reason why I'm making this one, these two, these two um, messages public tonight. And the first one is that they, we, have, we have a large group. We have a large group, and this large group was set up by Union Blue, of course. And the account that was opened by the Lion Group was also authorized by Oyendu. That is correct. Now, Oyendu has directed that the funds in the Lion Group should be transferred to the ESN account in North America, that is in the United States of America. And we understand that there is um, a, a kind of uh, Fit dragon to carry out this order from our leader. Now, Onyendu, Onyendu understand, uh, well, not that we understand, but we understand that there is a fit dragon. But now, I am giving further order to the people in the Lazen group, whoever is in charge. Now, this is the order. If you do not want to transfer ESM funds that you have we have country that has been raised for years. If you do not want to transfer it to the ESN account that was newly opened with the approval of Oyo de Magnan, please and please, there should be no further re, um, um, uh, expenditure from that account for any reason. There should be that account must now, as of today, this 29th of August 2021 there should be no further expenditure to be made from that account. When we, at the appropriate time, when we do the audit of that account, anything that is found not proper, of course, it will be made known to the Biafran people. And secondly, secondly, the head of finance, the head of finance has been also directed Yes, she has been directed to move every ESN fund that is in Italy. That, that Italy was, was meant to, to, to uh, put together the ESN fund that was raised in Europe before they will be transferred uh, to USA or before Olindo will, will ask um, the head of finance to transfer it um, to any other account or to any other any other um, project that uh, we have in, in, in hand. So now the order that you are receiving from Marzio Dozier in this night is that that account in Italy, the funds for ESN there, must be transferred to the account in ESN USA, the account that is made for ESN USA. As of today. No other fund shall be removed from that account if not to be transferred to the ESN account in USA. And the RQB families in RQB families in Europe, all your ESN funds must go direct to the ESN account in USA. No longer ESN account in Italy, because um, those in Italy, when they tell us that there are restrictions on how much you can move out of it, and when we know that that these um, young men and women that are protecting our land, they will need every logistic that will help them do their job. If we cannot utilize the fund we have in, uh, in Italy, for example, because of restrictions, then it doesn't make sense that we continue to put our funds in there. That is simple reasoning. That makes simple common sense. Therefore, every RQB family um, in, in Europe, from henceforth, your ESN, and I reiterate, ESN funds go direct to our account in the United States of America. Now, this, the next announcement that I have to make is this, and this one, um, the head of finance, please take note. Any family, anybody who wishes to raise funds for ESN must receive authorization. And this is how the authorization will go. If you are country A, for example, 
even the liaison group, if they want to raise funds for ESM, they must inform the head of finance, and the head of finance must inform me, Master Dozium, and I will give a written a written confirmation that they will go ahead and raise that form. Telling which, if you are invited to any fundraising, ask please, ask those who invited you, did you receive a signed authorization to raise this fund? Because we can no longer be raising funds and people are not remitting those funds to where they are supposed to be remitted. So, I will repeat this very instruction. If you are a country, if you have made arrangements to raise funds for ESM, you inform the head of finance, and the head of finance will inform me, and I will give authorization simply stating that this country has been authorized by the head of directorate to do what? To raise funds for ESM. And that fund, if when it is raised and you don't, you cannot put it in ESM account in USA, then you will not get that authorization in the first place. I hope that that one is also very, 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 very clear for our people. And we received the report. I just, I'm saying I'm making this announcement so that people in Biafra land will know that, of course, the leadership is doing something to some of the complaints. It gets to me, I get them, and we are doing something to, um, to solve some of these problems. Uh, we received many reports that our translators um, in Biafra land are down, and many of them need to be repaired. I, I'm telling you this evening that yes, I am seized of that opportunity, of, of that um, information, of that situation, uh, of the of, of that um, um, report and complaint. I am aware of it. And uh, what we need to do, I have of course um, spoken to uh, Mazi um, Mazi Oforma, and we are waiting. We are waiting to receive proper and detailed information of what exactly is, is what exactly needs to be repaired and then we will make and we we'll make the funds available for them to repair our transmitters for our people in the hinterland for our people in the upper land who sure cannot um those do not have the the opportunity for that as they will be listening to our radio as when we have information for them. And finally, my final um, announcement tonight is that we have seen that the media, the, the social media is awash, very much awash with with um, audio recordings from from those who are ready and out to um, pursue their own agenda. Unfortunately, some of these audio recordings are even coming out from excuse me. I need I needed to take some water. Some of these recordings are even coming out from those who call themselves principal servants. And if you are a principal servant, let me tell you once again and this night, let me tell you the your position as a principal servant you are put there to serve the Biafran people. You are put there as a member of this very honorable movement to follow instructions. And once you have decided, or once you think that you have you have now so so um, you have grown, you know, you have known you know much now, and you don't think you can take instruction from those who are less educated than you are, those who are less uh, tall than you are, or less big than you are. The simple thing you have to do is to simply, please, step aside and let those who are ready to focus on the, on the, on the work that we have before us to lead our people in that position. Therefore, if you are a principal servant and you go on air with unsubstantiated allegation against another principal officer, I'm saying this, this, this tonight. Tonight's brokers will be recorded and distributed so that you will not say I did not hear. 
If you are a principal officer and you are one of those who goes online um, making videos and making audios and, and, and maligning and disparaging and, 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 and you know, running down your fellow principal officer, first of all, you, that's not, you, when, you, when you go through your oath, you are you're already in contravention of the oath you took. And when the oath begins to work on you, you will be asking what, what is going on, what is happening to you. It is my desire this night to tell you and to, uh, you know, like a brother, call you back from falling, uh, you know, falling down from the precipice um, that you are standing upon. I'm calling you back this night because uh, so that you will not say that anybody um, targeted you for any reason. Do not, I beg you, go on air if you have complaint. Channel your complaint to the proper authority. This indiscipline must cease. It must stop. And tonight it should stop. And it must stop tonight. Going forward, we shall not be as lenient as we are today. There are the Torah. There are a number of um, people or movements or groups that are pursuing for, our, for, for, for the Biafra independence. There, if it is place where there are no discipline and you feel you can't go there. I, I, have, no, I have nothing against you. I have ab absolutely nothing against your decision. But if, when you belong to this family, you must follow rules and you must follow order. That is it. And that is um, what I have to say on that very um, on that very issue, and I I believe I believe that um, so that time will not go too much. I may ask Mazi Alonzi if it is if it is possible if it is possible for people to ask me a few questions. I'm ready to take it. If it's not possible, then I will gradually gradually um, close for this for this very you. Do not receive instruction from anybody who is not a principal officer. If you do that going forward from today, then that means you have by yourself um, relinquished that position you're holding because you cannot belong to a, an organization. For example, IPOB is not that kind of a body. You cannot belong to an organization and you cannot work with the, with the, um, um, with the rules and regulations that are guiding that organization.